hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm coming to you with this video and it's going to be a diy of the new watercolor method but guess what you guys it's on synthetic wig so we're going to be going from this lovely blonde to this kind of aquamarine kind of mint green and we're just going to jump straight in you guys i'm going to be using this dye and it's by a brand called rich you can find this on ebay amazon anywhere like that some supermarkets in the uk do stock this and i'm using the color aquamarine and they do quite a lot of shades you guys i chose aquamarine because i wanted to go for like a greeny blue and i think it will show up really nicely on this wig and here you can see me showing you the state of the wig before you do have to have a really light blonde to achieve any kind of color you guys so now i'm just showing you i've got a part i've put it on you guys um you want to get your water nice and hot you also want a pot that's big enough to submerge your wig and to you know get whatever you want done so once you've got the water nice and warm it can be boiling it can be hot you're going to start pouring in the liquid dye and it is a liquid dye you guys it's a fabric dye and as you can see it's quite a dark blue and that's how you're going to have to do it you guys whenever you use a clothes dye on hair you're going to have to get a really darker shade than what you're trying to achieve that is because the molecules in a synthetic wig is closed and it's not going to be so easy to penetrate you guys so i've added the entire contents of the bottle you guys and i'm going to show you what i do next so now i'm just stirring it you guys to make sure that all the dye is separated and everything is fine um, as you can see the steam is coming out so now you just want to submerge your wig and you will need a pair of tongs to do this you guys to hold the wig because it will get quite hot and you're not going to be able to keep holding it because the steam is going to get you guys so you're going to need a pair of tongs and i don't know if you noticed you guys but i've um put a like an elastic band on the like three fourth of the way up the wig that's because i want to achieve like an ombre so i'm trying to achieve like a lighter color towards the end of the wig so i've left that part out um and just submerged like the top portion into the pot you guys so now i'm just showing you how it is and this is exactly how it's going to look you guys it's not going to be this concentrated once you wash it out so that's why you want a dye that's going to be a bit darker so that it will really penetrate that wig and you're going to have to keep stirring it around and just moving it about to make sure that that color is really penetrating and getting into all the little bits inside of the wig because if you don't you guys you will have patches where it's not taken i did eventually leave the wig overnight and i also did the ends you have to take it off the heat do not put it in there while it's on the heat and you also need to make sure that the wig is heat resistant just washing out that hair and dye and i'm just detangling it now you guys and to detangle any synthetic wig you want to do it with your fingers first because if you try and use a comb first it's going to literally get stuck and then you're going to end up ruining your wig so always go through your wig like fingers first here i'm just showing you how the dye is taken so you can see that the top portion is a little bit more concentrated whereas the bottom is more of a minty green and um i wasn't 100 percent pleased with the color but it did turn out really well once it's dried so i know it looks a bit crazy whilst it's wet but it's gonna look really lovely at the end you guys so i'm just combing it out with a white tooth comb and just making sure that i get out all of the snuggly bits all of the tangly bits and just making sure that it's nice and tangle free here i'm just adding some fabric softener and what this is going to do is going to soften up your synthetic wig because once you submerge any synthetic wig in water it can kind of make it a bit brittle a bit more you know it's not going to be nice and soft as it was so what that fabric softener does is just adds that softness to it and it also smells great you guys so that's the added bonus so i'm going to put that back in the water and i left that you guys literally overnight like that in that water with the rest of that hair color that's left and this is how it was looking this morning before i 
then added like some dark roots to it i will eventually add like baby hairs i've not done anything like that to it as yet you guys but this is how it looks there was a few patches where the blue was a little bit more concentrated than i liked but it looks so good and i've been getting a lot of compliments since posting it so i thought i'd share the video with you guys and this is not my first time doing a watercolor method you guys and i will have loads more of these videos to come so definitely stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe bye guys